Hi guys, welcome to episode 12 of Q-Tips with Techie Carrie. I'm so excited this week. We have a special guest. One of my good friends and very googly friends, Efren Rodriguez, is joining us to tell us all about how to create custom slides for your Google Slide presentations. So let's get started. So for students, for example, if they're working on some type of report, uh, they could create a background that can't be moved. Uh, so for example, if we're doing something with the earth we could find one maybe like this insert it and then we can put it somewhere in the corner once we get this in right. and they want to make this in the background. So right now you'd be able to move it. Uh, so first let's format it so we can decrease the transparency. So it doesn't take up too much stuff on the slide. And then you could just do file, download as a PNG. That way it's got the transparent background. I'm just going to call this earth and I'll put it on the desktop. Because again, right now, we could grab it and move it and so on. But now if I delete this and I put it as my background, so we're going to choose the image and we're going to grab it from the desktop earth. And done. And now we can't grab it. And now we could just do control D on there and we could just duplicate the background and that way we can start doing our report. For our teacher example next, Efren is going to share how to make a presentation that is shared with an entire class and each slide is going to have the student's name embedded on it. Let's say you wanted to put their name. And if you try to do text, you won't get that transparency option on your format. So basically you have to do a little bit of a workaround. So for example, we can go into our Google Drawings and let's just say we do it as word art. And I'll just say Kathy, for example. But when we go to the format options, you'll notice we still don't get where we'd be able to go into our transparency like we did before. So what I would suggest is basically just do a small one like so. And then what we could do is we can download that as our PNG. And then we can upload it over here. Okay, so let's say we put it in the corner. So this would tell us that Kathy's the one that's going to be doing this particular slide. So when I click on it, now you'll notice that we do get a transparency adjustment onto here right and again this would be kathy's uh google slides whatever she's going to do here but again people would be able to grab it but if we go through the same process of downloading this as a png again it's only this one slide i'm going to replace the other one and now we'll delete that Done. And now Kathy would be in the background. So this way students would be able to personalize their slides with their name in there. Uh, for teachers, uh, for example, I created this. And then within my drawing, since I want it to match the slide size, and slides normally comes in at widescreen, so we could just go straight to our page setup and make it into widescreen, I was going with here. So we can do arrows and for example, we can do one like this. Seems pretty straight there. And then I could just copy that and paste it and copy that and paste it. 
right? So we could just do separations and then we could put whatever text we want. So in this case, the text that I went with is I put each one of those, right? So once we've got the divisions that we want, right? And whatever text we were gonna put, right? So I'll just put test tube, right? So that's where our test tube is going to be. And just like before, we downloaded as a PNG. I'm just gonna call this equip, say save. And then I can just come over here. And let me just quickly get rid of those. So we've got insert, not the image, right? We want the background. And it was our equip. And done. So now we can't mess with this in any way we can change it, right? And then we can put objects that we want to do for matching. So test tube, and we'll put a test tube in here. And we'll make it small. So I'm just holding on the shift so it keeps it the same size. So now we can put equipment on the side like I did before. And when you share this with your students, they'll be put in be able to put it in the appropriate places, right? So for in this case, right, we had our beaker tongue, so we would put it there, graduated cylinder, we've got our Benson burner. So it's a nice little matching thing. And again, they can't mess with the things in the back because those are going to be backgrounds. And finally, the last thing I was thinking for administrators, if they wanna do like a little activity for t-test, uh, I created something like this. And I just grabbed those labels from the t-test, right? This is all in a Google drawing right now. Uh, so I'd be able to move those and so on right now. So once we have that, we can just download as a PNG. And I'll go with the t-test that I suggest. And, oh, wait a minute. Do I have it at the correct page setup? Oh, no. So what happens here is it wouldn't be set up. So if I try another slide, and this is just so you can see what happens. So background, choose a file. So in this case, call it t-test. Oh, nice. So it seemed to have fit it into there, but it had to stretch it out so you could see what happens in that case. Thank you so much to Efren for his amazing tutorial, how to add um, custom images to your slides inside of Google Slides. Thank you for watching again. Please go and follow Efren on Twitter. And I have his Twitter name right here down at the bottom of the slide. I hope everybody has a great day and thanks again for watching Q-Tips.